I am just making a short video to show what we did at City Hall. We were asked to come up with a very interesting situation where the clock needs to be silenced and then it needs to be activated. So at certain times it can be turned off and not be heard and at other times it can't. Originally this was done manually and what we've come up with is a system with these what they call linear actuators. The actuator is an electronic device. It's usually used to open and close windows high up in ceilings. Um, the situation was when the clock strikes or chimes, it will normally strike on this side, and the strike would work on a hammer system. So, this would activate, and it would lift the clock as well. So as you can see at the moment, nothing's happening. So the actuators will be eventually connected to a switch downstairs. At the moment, I'm controlling it manually. from inside this control box. So now I'm to change the activator, the actuator, and I'm going to come up and show you what happens. It's now dropping down. When it drops down, it allows this bar to lower. The bar is connected to a cable which runs down to a belt. Now, when this is activated, Again. Yeah, so basically we have a system where I can silence the clock and then I can unsilence it by activating the actuator. The interesting part of it became if the actuator happens to be lifting or dropping at a certain point and the clock happens to strike the impact was going straight into the actuator. Show you again, it's not silent. Okay, so the clever part came in where we decided put the spring in. The spring was just custom designed for this application. It was designed to take the weight force of the bell, but at the same time be able to stretch out enough to silence it and not have the impact happening when it was being silenced or unsilenced. At midpoint the clock could go off and that impact was pulling straight into the, actu into the actuator. We've now alleviated that situation with the spring and the system's working perfectly.